Hello students, here is a very interesting question. Angular velocity of a particle moving along a straight line. Up till now we suppose that the angular velocity means circular motion. But here there is no circular motion. Particle is moving along a straight line. Can a particle have angular velocity moving along a straight line? Let us see. Question says a particle moves with velocity v along a straight line AB. Here this is the straight line AB parallel to x axis at distance h. So from the x axis this line AB is at a distance h. Find its angular velocity means this particle's angular velocity with respect to the origin origin O. Is the angular velocity constant or varying with time? Let's see. So here the main problem is particle moves in a circle. How can we have angular velocity? Let us first understand the basic meaning of angular velocity in a circle. Let us say O is the center of the circle and R is the radius, radius vector. So we know that the velocity will be perpendicular to the radius vector like this. So in this case also can we find out the component of velocity which is perpendicular to the radius vector. Radius means measuring from the origin. Here in a circle, center is the origin. In the coordinate system, O is the origin. So with respect to origin, this distance R is called radial distance or radius itself. Although there is no circle here, but still we can call it a radius. And if you could find out the component of velocity which is perpendicular to this R vector, that with the help of that we can find out the angular velocity. So let us say, let us say we make two components, one component of velocity which is uh, perpendicular to the r vector and other component will be parallel to r vector. Both the components must be perpendicular to each other. These are called rectangular components. Now look at angle theta here. The angle theta, same angle theta can be shown here. So therefore, the component which is making angle theta will be the cosine component v cos theta. This is the general rule that whenever, whenever we break a vector into the components, the component which is connected by angle theta to the vector is cosine component v cos theta and the other one will be v sine theta. Okay, so we have got both the components. Now let us try to write down the angular velocity. So first of all, we will compare with the circle that the velocity must be perpendicular to the radius. So in this diagram, v sin theta is perpendicular to the radius vector. Therefore, we can say angular velocity with respect to the point O is equal to v sin theta divided by r. And uh, also in the question, the distance h is given for some purpose, this height h. So, can we write a relation between R and H? In this diagram, we can see the triangle. If this is a right triangle. In this right triangle, sin theta is equal to opposite side. Opposite side of theta is H. Opposite side by hypotenuse. R is the hypotenuse. Opposite to 90 degrees hypotenuse. Therefore, we can write down from here that uh, sin theta is H by R. Why don't we substitute here? So, if we substitute here, sin theta is equal to H by R then we will get v by r into sin theta as h by r. So, we are getting answer as v into h divided by r square. Now, in this question, in this question, uh, let us suppose v is a constant. Let us say speed is constant. Obviously, it is given the question that speed is a constant and uh, h also is a constant. So, this numerator is a constant numerator is a constant. Therefore, we can say angular velocity is inversely proportional to square of r square, r square, r square. Now, as the particle moves along the line AB far and far away, the length r will keep on uh, increasing, isn't it? When the particle comes here, then the r vector would become like this, it will increase. So, therefore, omega will decrease. So, we can write down here that as r increases, as r increases, the angular velocity decreases. So, we can say that angular velocity is actually not constant. Yes, but one thing we learn from this question is that, uh, uh, yes, a particle which is uh, not moving in a circle, even that can also have angular velocity. 
that is what a new learning from this question a particle moving along a straight line can also have angular velocity thank you for watching